Tonight, though, we've got some new information as the murder trial of a former Prince George's County police officer gets underway. Prosecutors say Corporal Michael Owen is the first officer in county history to be charged with murdering a suspect. Today marked opening moments of that long-awaited trial. I'm so, Leslie Foster. I'm Adam Longo. Owen is charged with murdering 43-year-old William Green, who was in handcuffs after a series of traffic accidents in January of 2020. Our Scott Broom is live outside the Circuit Courthouse in Upper Marlboro, where the first day of testimony has just wrapped up. Scott, good evening. Well, Adam, to put this in perspective for you, the gravity of this case, this police shooting happened here in Prince George's County in the months before the police shootings of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd back in 2020. But this has not come to trial here in Prince George's until now after many delays and a failed plea negotiation. Before a majority black jury, prosecutors opened their arguments with the undisputed facts. 43-year-old William Green was handcuffed behind his back when he was shot six times by former Prince George's County Police Corporal Michael Owen inside Owen's police car in January of 2020. He was shot six times. He was not a threat, Prosecutor Joel Patterson said. This was not self-defense. This was murder. Patterson said Owen fired after the men argued about Green's demand that he be allowed to urinate after 30 minutes in custody. But Owen's defense team said the murder charge was the result of a hasty and faulty investigation that rushed to charge Owen before he'd even been interviewed by investigators. Everything since is based on a narrative that's not true, attorney Thomas Mooney told jurors. They never got it right, Mooney said. Mooney alleged former police chief Hank Stowinski misled the public by holding a press conference the day after the shooting saying there was no evidence of drug use or a struggle in the car. In fact, Mooney said evidence in the trial like this witness video will show that William Green was under the influence of PCP and alcohol. And there's evidence of a struggle that occurred inside Owen's police car before gunfire broke out that was so violent it resulted in damaged radio and computer equipment. The evidence will show there was a violent struggle inside the vehicle and that shots ensued as a result of that struggle, Mooney said. It happened after a 911 caller reported Green had struck several vehicles while driving between Silver Hill and Temple Hills. Owen's history includes two previous shootings and complaints of excessive force. All right, the day's events here at the courthouse have just wrapped up. Late today, the first witnesses took the stand. They included that witness bystander that took the video that we just showed you. And notably, it came out in testimony today that she claimed she had video of the actual shooting. She gave it to police. She testified, but somehow that video has disappeared and can't be found. Green's large extended family, which has already won a $20 million wrongful death suit uh, in, in this case, has been in the courtroom today. They say they're not going to be talking to reporters while this trial is underway. Reporting live in Prince George's County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, I think we can already tell that there's going to be a lot of twists and turns in this trial. I know you'll be following it closely throughout the week. Scott Broom, live in Prince George's County. Thank you.